Greetings fellow viewers and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Generations! First time I've shown this on my channel. So this is the mobile game for the popular trading card game Yu-Gi-Oh! Features a uh, cards from the show going through all the series from Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 straight through to I believe it's only Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel from now it was so from what we're doing here we're just gonna go through the campaign may see I've got a bit of currency at the moment that's because they do a daily login bonus and if you log in every seven days you get a free booster pack but we're just gonna go with a new campaign yes we're gonna start a new com campaign greetings human I am IN4-M8 cybernetic administrator to the virtual dueling system I am your instructor interpreter and interface assistant in this grand simulation welcome to dual generation we have devised the ultimate simulation to test your dueling ability against historical duelist construct constructs from across time and space you will be challenged often so we face off against characters from the show using their decks they used in the show so let's hop into the, our first duel me versus Taya Gardner uh, let's go with paper oh it's a tie obviously to decide who go first we rock sh paper sh scissors she wins and she decides to go first so this is the dual interface let's have a look at our cards here she's only activate oh okay so she's all about life points gain is she Fountain in the sky. When a light monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can remove that monster. Okay. Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. Oh, that's one. That's one GX. Wow, she gains a lot of life points. Well, there goes her entire hand. All right, let's have a look at what we can summon. What's this? Scale Lizard. Flip target one monster your opponent controls. Return that target to the hand. Don't want to do that. Beautiful headhunter, 1600 attack. Uh, go on then, we'll summon her. What else have we got here? Heart the underdog, join your draw phase when you draw a normal monster. You can reveal it, draw one more card. Let's activate that. So this is a vet old chain healing. So she gains 500 life points, okay. And let's set think from the field to the graveyard destroy one monster on the field pop that face down and go into battle phase so this isn't like magic monsters can attack straight away they don't get summoning sickness we deal 800 life points of damage and her air hummingbird is destroyed So let's end the turn. Okay, that's fine. You can get rid of our Mitsuri. So she's in top deck mode at the moment. Sets one card face down in defense mode. And let's. Yes, we'll activate Heart of the Underdog. Oh, we can activate it again. We'll do it one more time. There we go. So, what's this one? Fighting Spirit, the equipped monster gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls. If it will be destroyed by battle, you can destroy this guy instead. Let's summon Guardian of the Throne Room. And. Ooh, what's this doing? Let's have a look. So, what have we got? We got some XZ's summon. You got brilliant. That's for three star only and number 44 Sky Pegasus. 
Uh, okay, but we won't do that right now. We'll equip our headhunters with the fighting sh spirit. Go into battle. Attack a face down card with our guardian of the throne room. Shining friendship. That's only got 1100 defense. It's destroyed. Okay, so that just lets her gain life points by banishing. Basically, that means removing from play. And she gains life points equal to the attack of the monster that was destroyed. She sets one card face down, and it's our turn to draw. Activate Heart of the Underdog? Yeah, sure, why not? No, we don't want to do it again. So let us summon our Amazon of the Seas. And sure, let's. Why not? Let's. XZ summon our number 44 Sky Pegasus. We will overlay Amazon and Guardian. To special summon number 44 skies Pegasus battle phase and field damage so these first few duels are going to be pretty easy Take this, direct attack. He's down to 1900 life points. And we will end our turn. Pass the turn over. She says one card face down in defense mode. Four star Lady Bug of Doom. We'll summon our all seeing white tiger. We'll attack with the Sky Pegasus. Another Shining Friendship. He gains 1300 life points. Well, that's going to soon be taken away with our all seeing white tiger. Direct attack on her life points. And attack with the beautiful headhunters as well. End the turn. Ooh, she flicks someone's her someone's her fairy archer in attack mode. He goes for an attack. For our all seen white tiger. No, our life points. Ah, I was gonna tribute that monster. How dare you! So, oh, just the break. Activate only when your opponent declares an attack. It's face up normal monster you control. Destroy all monsters on the field except for attack position monsters. Okay, nothing too special there. Don't want to summon that. Don't want to sacrifice that. Uh, we'll set our cat of ill omen face down. We we don't want to activate it. We want to go into battle phase. Attack her fairy archer. Banishes it and gains 1400 life points. This is going to be a pain. And the direct attack. Down to 6900 life points. Pass the turn over. Ooh, 
Oh, she summons Absorbing Kid from the Sky. No, our Catville Omen. We get to select a trap card from our deck. And put it face down on the field. Let's. Strike Slash, one of Monster Yield Clairs. Uh yeah, sure, why not? Strike slash, put it face down. Oh, he goes on the top of me deck. My draw. Let's set flame guard. Flame Veil Guard face down in defense mode. Pop Strike Slash face down. Battle phase. Attack her absorbing kid from the sky. She loses 500 life points due to the difference. She banishes it and gains 1300 back. But she loses 1600. I need to get rid of that fountain in the sky. I like how it's not telling new players anything about the game, it just assumes you know what to do. Aha! You've triggered your own demise. So now we can sacrifice our Flame Bell Guard for our Flame Champion. As it's a 5 star, yes. Sacrifice Flame Bell Guard and summon Flame Champion. Heading to battle phase. Attack her Fairy Archer. Asking us if we want to activate Strike Slash. She gains 1400 life points. But she's about to lose a lot of them. And direct attack with the Flame Champion. He's down to 3600 life points. What is that one remaining card in her hand? Oh, she puts it face down. Aha, the Armored Lizard. Yeah, we'll activate Heart of the Underdog. No, we don't want to activate it anymore, thank you. We'll summon Armored Lizard, 1500 attack, 1200 defense. Heading to battle. And attack her face down with number 44, Sky Pegasus. Flip, draw one card. Funny. She activates Fountain in the Sky, gaining 900 life points, but she's probably finished this turn. No, oh, thank you. That with a beautiful headhunters. 1500 minus 3000. There we go. 1900. And that's the end of the duel. Victory! So these are what the rewards we can get. We get 595 point currency. And we get an achievement! Earn the first of many achievements! And we get the Luminous Soldier as our reward. 
Bravo, your commander of dual monsters is exemplary. Now keep the winning streak alive. So, we're facing off next against Grandpa, aka Solomon Moto. The Warrior Dragon is his deck. Ooh, the Forbidden One is his other deck. Apologies if it seems a bit clunky. I don't know why that is. We'll go first. Person who goes first can't attack on their first turn, otherwise it'd be too easy. Summon our beautiful headhunters in attack mode. Pass the turn. Oh, we should have put strike slash face down. We got double cyclones. Select one spell or trap card and one spell. You control and one spell attract card, your opponent controls. Destroy the selected cards. Ooh, he has one card face down. That doesn't scare us. Another strike slash. We'll summon Jerry Beans Man. And we'll lay two cards face down. And we'll go ahead and activate Double Cyclone, destroying one of our Strike Slashes. And destroying his face down card, which was Non Aggression Area. Discard one card from your hand, your opponent cannot normal summon or set and, and slash or special summon during his next turn. Okay, that would've, wouldn't have been anything special. Is that with our beautiful Headhunters? Only 1200 defense. No match. Tap with our Jerry Beans man. Down to 62, 50 life points. We still got our strike slash available. What is he gonna do? Sets one card face down in defense mode. Ooh, nice, we have Twister, pay 500 life points and target one face-up spell, track card on the field, destroy it. We'll play our all-seam white tiger. We could XC summon, but we don't want to right about now. No, we do not want to activate our trap. Good thing we attacked with the beautiful headhunters, otherwise we would have lost some life points. No, oh, thank you. And attack with the Jerry Beans Man. He lays one card face down in defense mode and passes to turn. Ooh, that's nice. We're going to summon Aqua Snake. And since we have two three stars out, we are going to XC summon our three star monster. Giga Brilliant. Make sure you select correctly as it won't confirm it, apparently. Pop it in attack mode. And we'll go into battle phase. Attack with the beautiful head undress. Another beaver warrior. And take this with Jerry Beans man, is he down to less than 1800 life points? Yes, he is. Finish the duel. What a match with LPs at zero. And we get 
you back uh, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Excellent work, you bested your enemy, which was no easy task. Not yet. Stop asking me this stuff like that. So, to the folks on YouTube, I will see you in the next dual video.